What up, YouTube, Facebook? It's your boy HB. Mm, 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 three, aka One Time in the Building, man. I'm coming to y'all with this video. It's going to be called The Process It Takes for Your Wave Journey. So, I'm going to be explaining some things. Might make it a three, four part series. I don't know, but y'all stay tuned, man. I got a lot of information to put out. Let's go. What's up everybody man so today we're going to talk about the beginning phases in your process as far as your wave journey and things like that um this is strictly for beginners rookies people who coming into the wave game man it's, i feel like there's a lot of videos out there how to videos how to do this and how to do that but they don't actually tell the process you know of getting off into what to do so the first video I want to talk about, you know, is just, just basic information, just basic things you need to know, like you need to think about before you even start. And the number one thing, I think the very, very first thing you need to understand, like the very, very first thing you need to figure out is your crown. Man, it, it kills me so much. It, it just hurts me bad. Like when a waiver comes to me, they're like eight weeks into their their uh, progress or into the wave journey and they don't have a crown and they ask me where's my crown or I can't locate my crown I can't find my crown and I'm like I'll try my best to show you and sometimes I can find it with ease but it's a little bit difficult because they have a extra amount of hair on their head and like <laughs> it, it's best that you figure that out in the beginning stages like before you, you just scalp you don't have no hair on your head or you just have a little bit on your head that is the best time to find out where your crown is at it's the easiest way to find out where your crown some are on the right some are on the left some are in the middle some are at the, further towards the top some are further towards the back some people even have double crowns so you have to pay attention to that and understand it's the easiest when it's at its lowest level to find your crown uh, so that's the number one for me. I feel that's the number one thing that needs to be found first is your crown once you've located your crown You need to um figure out what pattern you want and this needs to be done before you have one lick of wave in your head You need to find out what actual pattern you want to have whether it's 360s 540s 720s even the classical 180s whatever whatever pattern you desire to have this needs to be found out before you even attempt to brush before you even attempt to have a wave in your head and the mistakes that I see with, with the crown situation and the whole pattern situation you know it, it, it's crazy every in, any top waiver any top waiver someone who's a vet in the, the wave world and stuff like that will tell you you base your pattern off your crown you will base that off your crown whatever your crown is right if it's a swirl counterclockwise or clockwise or beehive or well, however you have it trying to tackle those two you know two crowns it's going to your pattern is going to be based off that crown you start with the crown you know what I'm saying and you base it base everything around that you know the crown is the nucleus and the heart of your foundation with your pattern. So both those things are important. I, I hate when I get uh, beginners or waivers come to me for information and they ask me, well, uh, you know, Horace or Bless or you know what I'm saying, um, how do I need to be brushing or how I need to do this or how I need to do that or they go watch other videos. 
they start brushing and brushing, but they don't know exactly what pattern they have. And they'll actually ask me, like, I don't know what pattern I have. I've just been brushing. You just made your journey extremely longer. You just made the process even harder because now you've been brushing maybe 360s, but you eight weeks into it and you want 540s now. After seeing somebody else or seeing a video, you want 540s. Well, the process is going to be longer and the journey is going to be longer because you've been brushing 360. Know what pattern you want before you even start brushing. Figure that out because trust me, that will help you and be beneficial to you um, further down the road. So you want to make sure you know those two things is locating your crown first and then actually figuring out what pattern you want. Another thing I want, you know, beginners and you know, waivers to understand is that be very mindful of the information that you get. And let me first off, let me start by saying I don't mean to offend no waiver. I don't, you know, if you're a waiver who likes to give out a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, likes to, you know, give out tips and things like that, like things like that. This is no way, form, or fashion is trying to offend anyone. But beginners. And rookies, you need to understand, be mindful of the information you get from other waivers or big time top waivers. For me, and this is how I look at it, in the wave world, experience trumps knowledge. And it can go hand in hand. You actually can have a lot of knowledge, but if you don't have that experience, I can't, I, I don't really tend to lean heavy on you when it comes to information and it's not to be disrespectful or rude because you might do know what you're talking about through your research but if you ain't actually experienced then i can't really do too much like for example um if i want 720s i'm not going to go to someone who's never had 720s i'm going to go to a person that's had 720s so I'm going to ask them, yo, how do you get 720s and how, how's that process of getting those 720s? That person with the knowledge of them might can tell me what to do, but the person that actually has had 720s is going to give, they're going to be able to give me more details and more information and do's and don'ts and they, because they've experienced that same with products, you know, if you've never used that product, I'm not going to tend to ask you versus someone who actually has used the product. I'm going to ask them first. And I will tell you right now, beginners, you know, rookies, whatever. If I don't have that information, if I've never dealt with it or experienced it or, you know, anything like that, I'm going to lean you in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Like if I know I've never had 720s and you're coming to me asking me for 720s, I'm going to go tell you to talk to cats like um, Wavy Longway. Uh, exclusive Sean Cornell um, Renard I'm gonna send you you know Wavy Crockett whatever his name is I'm gonna send you to those guys because those are the guys who have actual 720s I will send you to them before I give you any knowledge because I don't know anything about it and that's the same thing with products so I mean you gotta be you know I recommend this is what I recommend for any rookie any beginner when you when you seek out these experience and experience waivers and you know heavy cats and vets in the game, what you want to do is, I think the first part of your any question that you're about to get ready to ask is, have you ever? That should be the first thing you say. Have you ever? And don't be disrespectful and rude to them if they they've never used the product or if they never um, had the product. If they've never had the pattern or know the pattern, never had the brush or whatever, if they never had that stuff, still probably take the information that they give or the tips that they give. But at the same time, you it'd be probably best for you to go to somebody else that actually had the product, had had the uh the brush or had the pattern, any of that stuff. But that should be the first question when you start seeking out, you know, top waivers for you know tips and helping you out with your wave journey is to ask them first have you ever so that's just in the beginning you know some things to think about to actually process to actually figure out first and just just it's just basic information and 
that's pretty much it on this video. So it's your boy, man, HB. Three out. <laughs>